everybody. <laughs> ah. Oh. Hey. Here we are. We so, made it. Yeah. Well, we're here to apologize. Uh, somebody, somebody out of the three of us didn't clear their cachet. And it wasn't Scott. The cachet was polluted and dirty. Hmm. I.e., for all those non-tech people out there, we just couldn't get it to work. But we're here now. So if you're out there, raise a glass, have a cocktail. We're sorry. We had a great show lined up. Cheers. Yeah, we just, you know, we had some serious guests uh, lined up. And uh, honestly, it's really depressing. But here we are today. It's a little disappointing. We we had a lot. We had a room full of people ready to go. Yeah, that was the largest nightcap by volume, not of alcohol, but of actual human beings than uh, we've ever had. Yeah, we had more viewers on in the in the in the nightcap panel than ever than we've ever had. We got all dressed up. Matt Forbes I, wore his uh, Hannibal Lecter. I actually, uh, I wear this every day. Thank you. This is just me. Just hanging out at 11.15 at night. Quid pro quo. I want to thank the people who did come. And we're going to be, I guess, we're going to have them on. We're not going to, uh, we're going to have them on our next show. We're going to make sure they're here because they are incredible. And uh, just, you know, I feel bad that we weren't able to really pull this off. But again, let this be a lesson. Clear your cachet. So that's tonight's uh, yes. lid investing tip of the week. Clear your cachet. It's cash. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I, think it, I think it may be cachet. Maybe, maybe we'll actually use this as a technical tip, right? For everyone who's out there, right? So if your website's not doing what you want it to do, if things aren't quite right and you're getting fed up thinking, wow, this multi-billion dollar company who's about to go public is, is ruining my life. It's probably you, not them. In Google Chrome, go to those three little dots on the right and go to more tools. And go ahead and uh, clear that browsing data. Clear those extensions. Get rid of that cache. Pretty sure it's cache. But let's say cache anyways. And uh, everything will start working just fine all over again. It worked for us. Here we are. Who knew? Here we are. We made it. Yeah. Turns out we're land investors, not to IT guys. Who knew? <laughs> it's all good. So we actually have 10 people watching. We have comments from Eric Peterson. Uh, Jen, Jen and Tyler Kelly, they were going to be on today until we, uh, until we, I keep saying we, cause it feels better. Come on. I had an issue with tech wise. Um, but you know what? This is, this is good. You know, one thing about, uh, oh, it's yeah. horrible, right. I mean, do we have oh. any Barry White we can play? Like just, you know, just sitting <laughs> in the background. Just in the uh, I, I will have to say, though, I, I, I do want to say briefly, I, I know we're not having a full episode with all of our guests, but listen, mm. Mike, we've been doing this for a year, dude. It's pretty cool. And, yeah. and uh, there have been some really good moments on this show uh, where some very, uh, I think, valuable content has been given forth. And I'm not saying from you and I, but from other people. We've had great discussions Land investing uh, has changed my life, has changed your life. Matt Forbes, it's changing your life. And uh, I don't know. It's, it's been a really cool experience this last year. So I'm very thankful. And I know it wasn't the episode we wanted to have, but here's to you. Yeah, to you as well. Here's uh, to Mark Podolsky. Thank you, Mark. Yes. Let's do this. Yes, absolutely. But we're gonna we're gonna uh, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna like delay our anniversary and bring it back for like a full on show just because uh, is that a bit, is that doable, Matt? Can we do that? Is that even allowed? We make the rules. It's actually it's like a real anniversary. We're like the date like you're like hey happy anniversary, honey, and then two three four weeks later you actually do whatever it is you're supposed to do, right? So I think it's totally cool and uh, it's nightcap, man. Come on, we. We make this stuff up as we go. It's all good. This is just land investing, right? There's no land emergencies. There's no nightcap emergencies. It's so true. It's so true. As we hear, like, uh, as something Tate Litchfield's fond of saying, right? There are no land emergencies. I like that. I, I, I love when he says that. Yeah. 
you playing music? Oh, did that that started. Yeah, sorry. What? Wait, what was that? I think that you one? better clear your cache. That was uh, <laughs> Alex for you guys. That was funny. I was trying to I was trying to like lighten the mood. Like I thought you were gonna cry over there, Zeno. <laughs> I'm going back to red. I got this really great whiskey for tonight. Also, did, did you? you? I had yeah. my my land mentor. I had my land mentor whiskey ready to roll. Jameson Caskmates finished in IPA beer barrels. Oh wow! Oh, that I is, saw that uh, the other day. I could do it that. Is really good. They also have a stout version, which I haven't tried yet. I tried one of each. I think I like the uh, stout. Yeah, it's been the IPA. I don't know. Animal <laughs> <laughs> Lecter, you're pretty red in the face over there, buddy. Yes, it's the mood lighting he's got on. I like land. <laughs> well, so Mike, uh, next week we, I think we have the week off, right? Yeah, we might be able to configure something. It's uh, you know, it's going to be an interesting week, so I'm not sure. He's so down tonight. So down. Well, you know, I so down. down can I can I play a song as we're talking for, yes, for Mike play Zano? A song. Play a song. Cheer this, us up. This is this is the Mike Zano song, and that when I think of him, this is what what i think of so Sixty four, my put that right there love's going to leave that's for you mike yeah there you go see it's starting to move a little bit there you go this could get uncomfortable but that's okay there you go that's oh my goodness well okay 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 all right we're gonna keep this brief because we don't want to turn it into the real show. We started late. We had people that are going to be with us. We just want to basically say we appreciate all of you who watch us. Yeah. We appreciate all of you who watched us in the rerun world. We're going to bring some serious content this year. We're going to bring uh, all kinds of uh, just new ideas, concepts, and old school. Like our theme this week has been bring it, you know, uh, go old school, right? Back to the back basics. to the basics. Yeah. So. Um, you know, we're going to continue on that vein. We're going to start bringing more guests on, more uh, basically workshopping people on the show, which is really going to be kind of cool. Um, you know, I like doing that. I think people really enjoy that when you kind of help pain, help solve their pain points live. That's cool. And uh, some different things. We're still trying to see if we could do some live calls. We're waiting for our technical advisor, Matt, to give us approval so we can call people like, you know, like if someone was going to sell us land, that type of thing, Matt. We, we're not, we weren't sure if that was. Yeah, legal. we should. We should we should start by calling uh, Clint Turner. All right, Clint, I got your letter. <laughs> oh, nice. nice. I'm ready I for it. I got a letter from Clint this week too. Yeah, I love it. That means Clint's taking massive action. Yeah, That's I got to give him credit. He uh, he is. And I was like, listen, I'm a land geek guy, and uh, I think, and I don't work this county, but I think you're overpaying on your offer letters. But from a wholesale deal perspective, this is right on. So. I'll sell it to you for what you asked for, because I don't care. So nice. Clint, get back to me, brother. Come on. Good All right. You. Well, we're well, gonna have more letter openings as well. Letter openings. Deal. Letter openings are awesome. I like that a lot. I like it a lot. Was that your Hannibal Lecter accent? No, that's uh, Jim Carrey, Dumb and Dumber. I like yeah. it a lot. Yeah. Oh. I like it a lot. Yeah. 1990. Oh, no. I'm going to go with no, Your Honor. Um, yeah, no way. That was 90. Uh, 91. 1991. 94. And I'll take your money now. Oh. Yeah, what was I thinking? I was in college, not in high school. Well, we're, we're so, actually, yeah, add three years, 94. That was actually, I think, 91 or 92. We're watching Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, and, and it's all about land selling. And that's like, what, 92? Yeah. Um, I don't yeah. know. Yeah, it was. It was 92, because we were just talking about that, Laura and I. 1992, and so I think it's a great movie. Anybody out there wants to see an interesting movie that involves sales and somewhat based around land, Glen Gary, Glen Ross. Yeah, but not That's our land, right? No. Let's be like, let's be a little clear. Like, you go, you get all excited about this niche, and then you go watch that movie, and you'll have a little pause. You know, yeah, like how not to be. One of those guys, and you're not. It's not like that. Yeah, how not to be. Yeah, exactly.
Exactly. Although it is. We are actually the complete opposite. Yeah. Yeah, we are. I got a bunch of thank yous. I got a guy who called me today. He goes, I have cancer. I will take your offer. It's it's low, but I don't care. And I'm like, oh, my God, I'm so sorry. And terrific. I'll send you out a deed. That sounds really good. We're helping. Yeah, I had a guy today. Uh, also, another, uh, I, I don't have a letter to open, but another accepted offer. He was uh, very excited that uh, I had sent him a letter and offered him set amount of money for this lot when, uh, you know, basically he, he had spoken to a realtor and the realtor said, hey, listen, the most I can get you for this lot is this and the closing fees are going to be five, six hundred bucks. Uh, and it may take six to 12 to 18 months to sell. Uh, so he was uh, pretty happy to, to give my offer. Uh, yeah. And interestingly enough, it uh, took place in a county that's probably the most worked county of all land geeks. We're not going to say that out loud. We're gonna leave that he back. hasn't gotten an offer yet. Hanging Chad. I was the yeah. first one. Yeah, that's not surprising. Craziness. Well, that brings up kind of a really good point that we always talk about is that, you know, the truth and transparency can really get you good deals because, you know, you think like you have to, this mentality, like we're talking like Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross, and this kind of kind of salesperson not, that just isn't really, you know, reputable in a sense or in a big sense, not in a sense, but really they're not very uh, you know, orientated. And we're the opposite. But that works in your favor when you're trying to buy a piece of land from somebody and you're negotiating. It's like you're very clear with them. You say, you know, I have my numbers are very tight for a very specific reason. You know, I have I have to my acquisition costs. You just tell them, say, listen, and this is why. And I even tell people I'm going to sell this land on terms and people are going to pay me. I'm going to make money, but over a long haul. And I don't hide anything from them. And I think that transparency actually allows to make some better purchases. In fact, I don't think I know because I've. I've listened to people, and when I tell them that, they 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 understand it, they get it, right? So, um, you know, you're talking, you know, about a version of that. Like when you talk to them about, they can list it with a realtor, but there's going to be the listed price and the realtor fees and the fact that realtors typically don't like to deal with it, you know. So, and hey, this is money now, right? This is money now, and uh, we pay quickly and we take care of all the details, hassle free. So the truth really is. Um, one of the best ways to get good deals. Yeah, really. Yeah, I love it. The truth is the best way to get good deals. Yeah, mark true. it up, dude. That put that on your vision wall. On your yeah, right there. My vision board's right. And there. if you're new to the business, tell them. Listen, I just started doing this, so. Um, I'm going to be honest with you. This is like one of my first, trans like the don't, don't try to like button the shirt up so tight. You can't talk like loosen the shirt up, have a casual conversation. When you talk to the people, make a connection with them. Talk about, you don't have to just talk about the land. You can talk about anything that kind of comes up in the conversation, be loose, be relaxed, and then just casually talk. And, and, and just, you don't have to worry about like sneaking the number in like, okay. And so I'll give you five, you know, you can just, basically be very direct about it and very relaxed. And I'm telling you, it's a great approach. It really is. Yeah. It's awesome. It's an awesome approach. It, it really works well. Um, Barbara Thibodeau said that she, she wishes that uh, this had, this had happened tonight because she wanted to win a prize. She misses winning at boot camp. If she won, she's sitting in, <laughs> Barbara was sitting in front of me and she won um, Family Feud. Well, yeah, she won Family Feud, but she also won like one of the raffle tickets. Oh, nice. So, so she is a, she, you know what she is, Matt Forbes? She's a winner. A winner. A winner. My <laughs> Boston accent is better than yours, Matt Forbes. Winner, winner, chicken winner. dinner. Yet I live in Boston. How strange. Yeah, I and know. oddly, I'm not ashamed of that whatsoever. <laughs> like a normal human sorry zena you should be yeah. all right is this turning into a show or are we uh having a cocktail and getting out of here well i mean i got a i got a little bit left one finger left uh great advice mike from jackie uh, van sirksum oh i like jackie uh, 
We hung out at boot camp. She was cool. Her husband's cool. We have Rick and Jackie are awesome. Jackie's my people. She's from South Dakota. Pretty mm. awesome. So, so Mike, when should we, sh should we just shoot for two weeks from now? Two weeks from now, we're going to have gifts. We're going to have giveaways. Jeez, it's, wait a minute. It's G cubed gift giveaways and guests. G cubed. Yeah. Okay. I'll accept that. Yeah. I love okay. it. No. I'll accept that. G, what's G to the fourth? I, let's just do. No, because look, gifts, giveaways. Guess and the Godfather. The oh. Godfather. Oh, let's see if we can get him back on. That's uh, that could be. Yeah, good. I have big apology to Mark Podolsky. You know he was ready to come on tonight, and uh, someone didn't clear the cachet, and this all got mucked up. <laughs> but uh, he was there. It's but I think someone's never used a laptop I, in their lifetime. It'll be G squared gifts, yes. give the, giveaways, give the and the Godfather. Should, yeah, we give him, preview? should we preview. give them a preview of one of the gifts they will receive? Yes. Yes. Should we, Mike, should we give them a preview of one of the gifts they shall receive? Oh, we have two previews we could play, but I don't know which one you're talking about. Do you still have the other one? The video. Oh, that preview. No, no I'm no. talking about a gift preview. I know, I know. I was asking if you had that. I got this gift preview. Whoa. Oh my God! Look at that's mom an eight by ten glossy right Look there. That. Will that be signed? That will be signed. Uh, Barbara Thibodeau is screaming out right now. I can hear her <laughs> wherever the hell it is that she lives. We what? know, we know Barbara Thibodeau wants that eight by ten. I just so everyone knows, I have a horizontal eight by ten and I have a vertical eight by ten, and two of them will be given away. Okay. <laughs> An evil eight by ten. Hmm. Not quite evil enough, Scott. Barbara Thibodeau is dying. She says. Oh She's yeah, dying. Jackie. I bet uh, Jackie's in there too. Just like, oh god, if I could just get this glossy eight by ten, <laughs> my world would be complete. <laughs> <laughs> uh Mike, should we show the pre? Should we yeah, show? Them? I think we should. I was trying to pull it up. Oh, I got, I got it. it. I got it right here. Turning this into a show. I thought we were just going to come in and apologize. Well, this for, is something that need. Listen, we're doing this. This is something that needs to be shown before we go off because okay. it's amazing, and I am entirely jealous of this because my whole life I wanted to be in a trailer. The best part of going to the movies is watching the previews. The best part. If I don't see the previews, I'm not going. And. One of our uh, Land Geek uh, coaches, in fact, our epic coach, uh, the man himself, Tate Litchfield, is in a trailer preview for something that's coming out, something huge. It's not ready. It's coming out within the next month or two. This is amazing. And you know what? If you come to our anniversary show in two weeks. Someone's going to get a free subscription to this. Free subscription to season one. Wait till you guys see this. Is your sound uh, optimized? Is your sound optimized? My cache is. No, Dang it, Mike, optimize your sound. Oh, God. The technical errors on this show. <laughs> this is amazing. All right, you ready? Yes. Here I we go. Watch this. I haven't watched this on my Mac yet. The big screen. Play it. Here we go. Is he stepping on us? Hello everyone and welcome to LOTS. Before we get started, let me tell you a little bit about what this program is not. LOTS is not one-on-one -on -one coaching. It's not a Q&A session. It's not a mastermind call. And finally, it's not a roundtable discussion. LOTS is an entirely new approach to building passive income through land investing, following the Land Geek method. My name is Tate Litchfield and I've been a full-time land investor since 2014. During that time, I've done over 500 deals, and LOTS is designed to show you how I'm doing those. People are always asking me what my day-to-day -day life looks like within the land business, and this program is designed to show you. LOTS stands for looking over Tate's shoulder, and that's what you'll be doing. During season one, I'll give you insider access on how I handle certain tasks within my land business. We might cover anything 
from deal review to a deal of the week to intake manager discussions to weekly reports or even opening the mail. Are you interested? Imagine being able to work when you want, where you want, and with who you want. Who knows, you might even learn something about hockey, bike racing, or hip hop music. Ultimately, the question is, are you ready to look over my shoulder? I love it. That's amazing. Oh my God. That is amazing. Yeah, you did a really nice job. That guy was amazing. As long How as that? Part of the cycling, I'm in. Is that your first time seeing a preview, Matt? I haven't seen it before. No, he's so I'm I, he's my coach, right? I'm in coaching, so I've heard about it for a while um, about him filming it and different things, but I have not seen that preview. Like, how was that? Is that amazing? That was yeah, amazing. that's actually really really good. So, Scott Scott Todd Scott Todd is here. Uh and Scott Todd. So you may you may not realize, but we had significant tef- uh, technical difficulties earlier. Uh, yeah, <laughs> we we had uh, a we we had an entire room no, full. Of Mike guests had technical difficulties because he didn't clear his cachet. Uh, so we had an entire oh. room full of guests, including the Godfather, Mike Mark Podolsky. Ah, uh, don't say it. Anyway, so we are postponing our one year anniversary show until two weeks from now. But Scott, did you just see that preview? That was amazing. That preview was amazing. And you know what? If you tune in two weeks from now yeah. for the anniversary show. One person is going to win a free subscription for that first season. Really? Yes. Ooh, dude, that's legit. Yeah, that that's, legit. Really, that's really good. That's our power giveaway. You guys are doing cool stuff like that. Oh, welcome to Sorry about that. And uh, Scott's uh, the, the weekend uh, flight school thing. That's really cool. You guys are doing really cool stuff. It's good. Uh, it's good. Yeah, that's coming. Uh, we have a hard date for that now, don't we, Scott? We do have a hard date. The hard date is May 17th through 19th in Tampa Bay, Florida. No kidding. Flight School Live. Talk so, about epic. I, I would have. We, we, we are condensing 16 weeks of content into three days. But there's a follow-up period. There's a reactive period. It's 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 content rich. It's content rich. In connection rich. Uh, yeah. Yes. Uh, significant reactive period. You will have uh, access to coaches. You will have the geeky tools for a year. Uh, you will get. Uh, excuse me. You will get a free property. You will learn from Scott Todd and Tate Litchfield in a very small group of people. You might say intimate. You may say intimate. Yes. You may say or might say. Now, are you guys all are you guys all going? Are all the coaches going to that? Uh, or do we not know? To be determined. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sure a bunch will go. So that that'll be awesome. Scott Todd, that's put cool. it right there. It's huge. It is. It is huge. And no, it's you know, really, it really is going to be some huge. people. There are some people that, you know what, some people can't handle getting hit with all of the information all at once. But you know what? Some people love that stuff. Right. They want every piece of information as soon as possible so they can execute on all fronts. And that's what this is going to be. And it's going to be amazing. Yeah, very, and we are keeping it, honestly, very limited. It's going to be just a very, very small handful of people because uh, we want it to be this really powerful. Look at, look at Barbara and Thibodeau. How, when, where. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Scott, Todd, based, possibly all. Yeah, we're, we're all planning on being there. Basically, we just we haven't. But it's gonna be it's gonna be amazing. I mean, you're gonna have. Just imagine just this whole weekend. If those of you have been to boot camp, right? How powerful that is. Now shrink that down to a, like a handful of people and think about that, right? And now it's focused on learning all the fundamentals of the business executing and uh, creating deal flow all in one weekend. It's going to be insane. Yeah. I wish they had, I, so I did, uh, I did March of 2018. is when I started flight school and it was obviously tremendous. Uh, but I would have been one of those guys who would have been, who would have way rather been live in person over three days. I would have done that in a heartbeat. So 
I bet uh, I bet that thing sells out pretty fast. That'd be good. You know, I think one of the highlights of the last boot camp in the VIP room was um, we had we had multiple roundtable discussions, uh, and it, it was it was pretty awesome because Mike Zeno would be at a table talking about wholesaling, and Eric Peterson would be at a table talking about. Uh, he's the technician. So he's talking about automation and, uh, you know, uh, Mimi Schmidt was at a table talking about, uh, intake managers and buyers lists. And, uh, it was, it was amazing because, um, the people in the VIP room got to, uh, got to digest information from all of the different coaches with all of their different specialties. And that, that potentially is what's going to happen at this, uh, this this fly school live weekend uh you're you're gonna be able to to access different coaches scott todd and tate litchfield for sure maybe others uh about their specialties and it's gonna be really phenomenal yeah matt right. Forbes, you look yeah. sleepy Me? well yeah. let's not let's 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 wrap it down we was we want to, we're going to, we're going to bring this back in two weeks and we're going to really knock it out of the pot because someone's going to clear the cache. <laughs> it's ca Scott Todd, for the love of God, please write that it's, it's pronounced cash. You might be the only other person out there that knows. Eric Peterson did say minus the E. Catch. Yeah, he, oh, he did. All right. Thank God. The catch. Eric's, Eric's my new favorite coach. I'm going to clear the catch. The I catch. like cache. The cache. I like cache. Is it Nietzsche? Niche, 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 niche. Catchy. It's catchy. I'm going to clear my catchy. Um, by the way, I'm driving down to my house and I'm screaming at the radio because it's Mike Zeno on one of the round table calls because I just sort of listen to him and repeat going, is it niche? Is it niche? Is it niche? What do I say? And I'm, I'm, I'm literally, I'm like driving down. I'm like, it's freaking niche, dude. Just say niche for the love of God. But, but was, Mark Dolce says niche, and and other people say niche. Just saying, it's. I'm just not sure niche would be allowed on Scrabble. What? On word friends. The pronunciation does not matter in Scrabble. Yeah, but he means. I, I'm pretty sure when he says niche, he means N I C H E Y. I'm pretty no, sure that's, that's not right. what he means. It's not. No, no he means N I C H E. Yeah. Oh, so you're saying like tomatoes allowed, but tomato isn't. Right, exactly. Tomatoes yeah. spelled the same. Yeah. You they're both allowed in Scrabble. Yeah, one's right and uh, one's wrong. But yeah, they're yeah. both spelled the same way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Scott Todd did conform. I did confirm that you're correct. Uh, and you said God, something uh, else and you're correct again. I love it. <laughs> Everything you say is correct. Say some more. All right, now I'm just going to go sell more land. Sounds <laughs> so much fun. I like what Elisa Church said. It matters if you are a cheetah. She's a right. Cheetah. There it Never is. Don't play cards with a cheetah. Don't play Scrabble with a cheetah either. I feel like our five-minute apology tour just turned into like 45 minutes. What, what happened? How'd that, how, how'd that go? Well, I... Don't know. I, I um, don't go. No, no. Hold on. Don't go negative again, Zeno. No, I'm just worried about the Godfather. I had him all ready to go, and I got him all ramped up. And, and I uh, listen, uh, you know Mark a lot better than I do, but uh, pretty sure like the dude's pretty good. So I, I know. It's okay. Catch and niche. Cat. Oh, that's the two things you're right about. The catch and the niche. Do you know what this is like, Mike? Do you know what this is like? What. This is like the fire festival failure. Oh, great video. It's, Did you watch it on Netflix? Yeah, this this is very analogous to the fire festival failure. I mean, we, we, we build this up for weeks and weeks and weeks on end. We spend <laughs> millions and millions of dollars producing this show. And then all of a sudden, we are not able to follow through. Yeah. Fire festival, nightcap, failure. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not sure I would put us in the same category, but definitely very close. I feel like I feel like it's like fire, nightcap, and then you know other. You know why? Because that fire thing isn't our niche. Oh, niche, really? You're gonna go with niche? 
Let's go with Cache and Nietzsche. Why don't we go get a frappe while we're at it at McDonald's? <laughs> well, it's a latte. It's not a lot. Well, no, it's a latte. That's how that's. I have a lot, please. A... Look at me. If I go to Starbucks and ask for a lot, they're going to stare at me. A lot of what? You want a lot of coffee? You want a lot of <laughs> oh, wow. coffee? Or you want a lot? I think if, you I think you're latte. thinking of Dunkin' Donuts. Latte. If you go into Starbucks and order a latte, they'll know exactly what you're talking about. Not if you say lot. Uh, no. <laughs> lot. <laughs> lot. Listen. And we devolve again at the end. Lot. I've got to clear my lot. catch and I need a lot to make me feel <laughs> I'll buy you a frappe if you do that. It sounds good. All Robert right. Digital, that's so nice of you to say it's, it's been a, a great one year anniversary anyway. Because we've had. Oh, we never. We write. She was talking about how we, her interview was botched. Remember oh, a year ago? We were using Be Live. I remember that. Using Be Live. Well, but she also. She was. She uh, she was in the midst of a major storm. Do you remember that? Tornadoes. Tornado. Thunderstorms. Tornado? Seriously, dude. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tornado or tornado. Oh, my God. Uh, if I could just very simple and tomato, to tomato. Oh, that is so Austin awesome. Douglas Ford is watching. Austin, thank you for tuning in. Austin and Eric's Ford the Ford. man. Just throwing it out there. Austin is awesome. Okay. Uh, Alisa Church says it matters if you are a cheetah. A cheetah. Yes. It does matter if you're a cheetah. I already read that comment. You pay attention to me, Scott. Mom, Dad, no fighting I on did. the show. Come on now. I feel like you don't. Oh my gosh. Deep thoughts. That's what we thought. Sorry, That's I that new segment. That. You want to talk about the new segment we're gonna have? Yeah, <laughs> deep thoughts with uh Jack Handy. This would be like the first episode of Deep Thoughts. <laughs> I'll be Jack Handy. Land. Get some. <laughs> <laughs> That, here's that, one, of the, here's yeah. one that I remember. Here's one that I remember. Deep thoughts from Jack Handy. A woman mean a woman needs a man like a fish needs a bicycle. That is on a U2 album song that I have. You're right. It is. Right. What, what song, Matt Forbes? Okay, so that's the Octune Baby Tour. And what year, Matt Forbes? I don't do years. Only losers do years. Um, no, I don't know. <laughs> I've. I have no idea. So probably I'm going to go with 94. No, 1991 or two. No, but the tour, not the, not the, the, the album came out. Well, the tour is 92 because I was at the concert in Ames, Iowa. Oh, okay. All right. So like, like the edge needs a handy cam. The edge needs a bicycle. Anyways. Okay. Acrobat. Acrobat, that's the song. Okay. I don't think so. Yep. Here's an interesting fact. I don't but we're we're definitely still talking about Octane. A five minute apology went thirty three minutes. <laughs> of course, of course you, did. you monkeys start Acrobat. talking about land and it's gonna be five hours. Are you kidding me? You guys love this stuff. That's what makes it so it's good. True. You know, here's one thing. Anybody who wants to have my cell phone talk about land, you can have it because this thing blows up all day long and I love it. I love talking about land. Okay. I leave it on silent, which drives Laura crazy because she tries to call me and I just I never hear it because I just check it sporadically and then I write back to people. So anybody needs anything, you can write to me. I do write back. It is my real cell phone. And Scott, I'm pretty sure you'll give me yours too. Oh, yeah. I, we're, we're passionate about this, right? It's changed our lives. And, and we yeah. want to pass that to others. No, and, uh, absolutely. That, I mean, all joking aside, that's what it is. And I tell people all the time is that our, you know, coming to know Mark and the land geek and the community has changed our lives like so incredibly that we give back. And so we are available. Like, honestly, if you need anything, reach out. Awesome. All right. Well. Well, Scott. Well, Matt. Sorry, I didn't claim my cachet. I'm reasonably sure that it's not that song. I'm I'm stuck. I have not listened to anything since the Oxygen Baby question, but I'm reasonably sure it's not that. Acrobat. No, no. I think you and I are going to fight about this, and I'm pretty excited about that. 
No, it's definitely not that song. I got it live. Oh, the live trying to pull your arms around the world. Yes, thank you, thank you. Which is also an amazing song. Thank God we cleared that up. <laughs> thank goodness. But All at right. least I got the year right, 1991. Yeah, you did. You 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 did. That is correct. All right, let's do this. All right, we out. One more toast, Scott Bossman. Yeah. What is it? Uh, here's the land and uh, here's the passive income. Oh, that sounds so nice. Here's the friends and the best niche out there. Here's to the here's to the best niche out there. Niche, and, niche, uh, niche. And here's to a year of nightcap. Yeah, no, it, it's not the celebration. You can't do that toast. Here's to a year minus two weeks of nightcap. There it is. Yeah, do that. And all, all those right. guests we had lined up tonight. Sorry, they're coming back. I'm going to get them on here because their stories are amazing. They're all really inspiring. And I was so stoked to have them coming on here. So we're going to And you know what? Two weeks from now, their stories will be even more amazing. They really will be. They really will be. We've had some that have had a sale today. We've had some, one of them who's had 15 deals. Another one's completed three deals that, you know, all, these are all like just like really awesome people that have taken the business. Because like I like my new saying is the business works if you work it. You got to work it. If you don't work it, it's not going to work itself for you. You got to do it, and then you got to automate it so somebody else does it. But that's another story. <laughs> awesome. All Thanks, right. Steve. Thank All right, you. Jess. Two weeks. Two. Two weeks. Two. Okay. Talk to you later. Play the outro. All right. Have a good night. No song, no exit, because it's not a real show. It's not yeah. really the anniversary uh, episode, so no outro. This never happened. This was just a five-minute uh, apology tour. A 35-minute, five-minute apology. It never happened. Sounds good. You guys are like that Saturday Night Live sketch. <laughs> All right. See you, boys. Night. <laughs>